So this is the next instalment of questions and answers and people are asking us why we went sailing. Yeah, why did we decide to sell everything and buy a boat and sail around the world? I'm a bit adventurous and I like the adventure. I uh, love water, love sailing. I just wanted, just wanted to get out from the world. I just didn't like where we were. Yeah, I have to say, I felt like the world was kind of broken. It's quite interesting because now that I hear you talking, you're more drawn towards what the new life, and I was more running away from the old life. Yeah. Because I wanted to get away from, I was just mad about everything. I wanted to get away from the rat race because I felt like I worked and worked and worked and worked and made all this money, but I wasn't happier. Mm -hmm. um, I was mad about the fact that I worked so much that we didn't eat very well, so we ate out at restaurants and... Um, you know, ate at McDonald's or wherever we could find because we were well, always... you liked McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> but um, that bothered me. And also, I just felt like with Sienna going to school, I wasn't happy with the education system. I, w I was afraid she wasn't going to get the best education. I didn't see our daughter because I was working all the time. Yeah. So for me, it was kind of more about, like, like, running away from the world. But for you, it was more about, you know, blue water... Adventure, yeah, because adventure. I I backpacked around the world, and I really enjoyed it. And I thought, well, I'd like I don't want to do that again. I've done that one, and I, I thought I love sailing. I just love being on the water. And you got me into that more than anything because of your family's cottage on the water, and you just you being so infectious about living on the water just got me to love it as much as I do now. Yeah, well I think what really um, c caused us to speed up our decision was we, we bought a used boat for, it was quite inexpensive, you bought it off of eBay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and we bought that boat just to say, to, just to find out, okay, let's feel what it's like to have a boat, I guess. And um, what happened was when we got that boat, Celine, we just li like we lived on her as much as we could. We, yeah, we were. We were nuts about it. We were even slept on it in the when it was freezing. Yeah, yeah, and I think that gave us like the confidence to think, okay, well maybe we can live on a boat, and maybe we can say, okay, normal world, let's get out of here, let's make our own world. Yeah. I think for you, you knew what you were going towards, though. I had no clue. No, I sort of tried to do along with it. Yeah, because I was scared. Yeah. I was happy for my motivation was to to leave the rut we were in and to leave this whole kind of wake up, go to work, make money, spend money, and the whole buy a bigger house, fill the house with crap, buy more clothes. Yeah, follow the Joneses. Yeah, I don't know if it's follow the Joneses. It's kind of just follow what society says you're supposed to do and what's supposed to make you happy. We had this big house. Neither you and I are into home decor, so when we sold... We there, didn't have lampshades. Yeah, some of the it. rooms didn't have lampshades after owning it for three years, our last house. <laughs> we just didn't care. And also, looking back, I have always been a traveler. Since a young age, well, since I was 15 and got my, my grandmother, um, gave me her old beat-up car, I would go every weekend and drive as far as I could. And then I got older and I would, you know, fly. I'd fly somewhere, I'd drive to Florida for spring break, no matter what, I was always going somewhere. And of course, the affiliation with being on the water. Yeah. And the idea, I mean, there's nothing more freeing than the idea of getting in a boat and just sailing anywhere you want to go. Yeah. We don't like where we are, we just pull up anchor, yeah. leave them all in, and off we go. Yeah. It's and great. and I like that. I like this the lifestyle. Now that we've been doing it for three years, so we've you know circumnavigated the Mediterranean, crossed the Atlantic, done the Caribbean, come up the east coast of if, of America. Now that we've done that, it's just a great feeling to to think when you're someplace you like, you stay as long as you want. When you've had enough, you say, okay, we're going to move on. Yeah. You meet friends in a place. You stay longer than expected. You. Um, decide that you know friends are going in a different direction to you so you change direction yeah you go it, with your friends yeah so I think we're kind of you know we are gypsies and I always frowned upon gypsies thinking how could people live like that but I actually really really love it yeah me too
yeah, we we just I just love traveling, and we've been here in Charleston for a while now, and I'm just ready to go. Yes, yeah, so we can't wait to go. I mean, in November, we're well, the summer will sail more, yeah. but in November, when the hurricane season's done, we'll be sailing. We'll be on the go again yes. until we have to are forced to stop. Stop, and that means get out of hurricane season again or typhoon season if we're in the Pacific. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. but yeah, we're eager to get going. It's been really nice to be in Charleston for a while. We've been here for uh, eight, eight, nine months. Um, it's been really good. You yeah. know, we've it feels like we've actually grown some roots. We've got some great friends. Uh, it's so nice to take, uh, you know, go to Walmart or Trader Joe's and get anything you want. Yeah, it's um, easy to get things. Yeah, it's easy to get things, but it's also, like, become normal again. Like, it's not become normal, but we're p more part of yeah. society than we were when we were sailing. And, and the problem the problem I find with that is it's just the news. We just, I'm just back into... Like, yeah, watching the news. Watching that was the other not... reason I wanted to go. I was so fed up with the media. I was like, if you watch the news, you'll be depressed all day. And yeah, I, and it, you can't yeah. avoid it, even if you don't watch TV. It's no. on the radio. Or you nowadays, you go into any bar or restaurant, and the news is playing. So you, you just can't avoid it. Especially in America. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, and then, and on Facebook, we, we always find out things happen. And yeah. So... It was not as though we're running away from the news and hiding. No, we just don't need to hear it all the we time. And that was a, that was another reason I wanted to leave. Yeah. And I have to say, you know, these past three years, I mean, we've had a lot of difficult times. We've had a lot of fun times. But overall, in my life on land, I was not very fulfilled. Yeah. Whereas my life sailing, gosh, I'm quite often out of my comfort zone. Sometimes I'm scared to death. But overall... I feel more of a sense of just like I'm actually making use of this life that I've been given. Yeah. Whereas before I was just following the rules and doing what yeah. I should do. We, you know, we're not knocking that way of life. No, not at all. It, it, that way of life has got us to where we are now. Yes, yes. Um, it, and I think if you don't know what you don't know, you don't realize what you're missing. And my problem was I didn't know what I was missing. And then once we'd started sailing, I thought, wow, this is this truly is yeah, yeah. fulfilling for me. For other people, fulfillment might be found doing, you know, something way different. Do you regret doing it? Not at all. Not, not at all. I always live by the, um, the words, I don't know who told me this, but... Or what book I read it in is, you know, when you're 80 years old, are you going to look back and say you had a dream and didn't live it? I mean, we yeah. we have had we have the dream, we are living it. It is hard. <laughs> and it's not all gin and tonics no, and sitting on the boat. No, parties, parties, yeah. parties. It's a lot of um, out of our comfort zone, um, and also I think you know figuring out how to finance everything that we're doing. It's really really difficult. And the unknowns, we live by constant unknowns. You know, we, we have no idea what's going to bring us week after week. And we just have to trust that we're doing the best we can and, you know, see, see where we end up, really. <laughs> I mean, life so far has always proven to take care of us. Yeah, you know? yeah we've had our ups and downs. Yeah, we but we've always, we've always been okay. And, yeah. Yeah. Do you have any regrets? I mean, as far as are you happy we did you did what oh, we yeah. did what I, we did? I, you know, would I change things that I've done? Yeah, probably. It was you know, the only times we've done stupid things is when we're trying to meet people or trying to get people to floats back. Other, and then we've ended up in storms. And we've ended up in a storm. Yeah. Twice that's happened. Yeah, that's a good lesson learned. And somebody told me this like a year into sailing. Never ever tell people you will meet them somewhere. No. You always tell them the area that you're going to be in and then have them get to you. Yeah. So that might be a flight and a ferry trip or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Um, that was a that's a massive les yeah, lesson yeah. learned. Oh, so yeah. the the whole video that we started was all about, you know, why did why did we leave? And so I really think it's safe to say I left because I didn't like where I was. You left because you knew where you wanted to go. Yeah. And you you like, you wanted to go sailing because? I love it. I absolutely love it. My favorite thing is going out there and then just switching the engine off, using the power of the wind and just sailing along. 
doesn't matter if I'm out for a half an hour sailing or I'm out for a three day passage or even longer. Like when we crossed the Atlantic, when I saw St. Lucia, I was like, oh, yeah, St. Lucia, oh, I want to keep going. Yeah. And it wasn't because I didn't want to love, don't, don't love land, I do, but I just love being out on the water. Yeah, there's, it, I thought it would be more simple. Like I thought our life would be more simple living on a boat. <laughs> it's definitely not <laughs> definitely more simple. Not. Um, however, you, you cut out a lot of the crap, um, the, the phone's not constantly dinging, you're not addicted to seeing what the next, um, situation or catastrophe is. Yeah. There's, we, when we are out sailing, there's just the sun, the sea, uh, Sienna laughing at something, maybe us, you know, all eating together, I'll read a book, you'll tinker with things, <laughs> maybe catch a fish. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Find that that aspect is simple. Like, that is what I was craving to turn off from the world. Mm. And interestingly, since we've been in Charleston, we, we have a phone and we have an internet connection, I am addicted again. Yeah. Like, I can't avoid... I can't avoid looking at Facebook. I just I can't do it I unless know. I'm out sailing. And but when I am out sailing, I love the fact that I can't do it. I know. You, I don't. I don't know how you do it because it's it's hooked to your hand. And, yeah. And then you 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 then go out and then you just sit there and I'm like, oh. yeah. It's like a forced. It's like forcing yourself to cut off from the world. And for me, I can't. I don't have the ability to do it. Like. If it's, there, if it's there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have the ability to maybe sit for an hour and turn everything off and just, you know, I can meditate. Yeah, yeah. I can do that. But, like, to do it for a day or a week or, like, when we crossed the Atlantic, 18 days. And, you know, over that course of 18 days, there was a couple of times I wanted to Google something because I didn't know the answer. But overall, it was so refreshing. Yeah. It was like, it was kind of like... Being what a human really is, I don't know if that sounds silly, but it, it's like being just human. Yeah? Does that make sense or do I sound like a dork? Yeah, <laughs> what kind of face like is that? Yeah. My face is the only one I've got. Would I change it? No. Not in a million years. Yeah. I wouldn't change it. If I knew what it was going to be like before we set off, the stress levels would have been much lower. I would have known what I was going yeah. to. I was the most laid back person. You know, yeah. I did a really you're actually much more, um, not, I mean, you're not high strung, but you're much more prone to stress now than you ever have been before, which is interesting. Yeah. But before, I think you kind of lived a life of being slightly comatose. I mean, your friends yeah. used to make fun of you because they'd find you on the couch watching TV all day eating Pringles. Yeah. So, and you were so laid back, you'd fall over. Yeah, I know. And I had one of the most stressful jobs in Britain. Yeah. And But it just didn't bother me. Where I think here, I think more stressed. Yeah, not more str stressed, probably more alive, definitely more alive. Yeah. I suppose I'm a bit more stressed because, you know, this is our house and this is our home and I've got to make sure it's right for my family because, you know, if something goes wrong... It's down to me, really. You know? And it, it's also your comfort zone, too. Back oh, yeah. in England, we had a house and a car. You had your job. Nothing really broke. And if something broke, we paid if somebody car, to fix it. If the car broke down, I pulled off to the side. If yeah. this breaks down, I've got to fix it before I get into port. Or... Yeah. Yeah. So I know it's, I, it's often hard to force yourself out of your comfort zone. But sailing sure, certainly does. And although when things break, you're maybe scared and don't know how to fix it, but for three years we've figured it out time yeah. after time. And every time it happens, we feel so much more alive and... Accomplishment. Yeah, we feel accomplished and just, we're living. Yeah, yeah. Again, it's kind of forced living. We're forcing ourselves into situations that are uncomfortable. Yeah, I think it's because everyone, the modern day is, you know, if you, you just pay people to do it, where we living back in the day when you, you, you just had to do things yourself. And yeah. I think that's what it is. And that was so far out of my comfort zone that I wasn't used to it. But Yeah. It's nice. It's nice to be alive and doing things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
I, I don't want. I, I wish I wasn't doing this next job, but yeah, the you know, I'm, job. I, I'm not. I'm not going to pay someone. Yeah. Five hundred dollars oh, to move one point. No, I think That's it's. What it would cost, yeah, it's thinking. way more than that actually. Yeah, I think. probably. Um, there was something else I was going to say. I was just going to say, I'm really happy we did it at the age we've done it. You know, there's a lot of people out there that are, you yeah. know, questioning, um, should we do it now? Should we wait till our kids are out of school? Should we wait till we retire? <clears throat> it's kind of like maybe having a baby. There's no, there's no right time, <laughs> you know? You got to just do it. Yeah, and it doesn't, doesn't mean that if you, when you are retired that it's the wrong time to do it. It's, it's what oh yeah, it's whenever you know. Um, there are more retired people out sailing than there are you know people in their forties and fifties, thirties. Um, but I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you really want to do it, there are ways of doing it. I've written a guide about just you know how to how you can finance you know and how we are paying to you know how we are making money to afford to keep going. And how other people are. There's, you know, lots of people out there doing this. If one person can do it, so can so can yeah. you, you know. So and um, and I'm happy we did it at the age. Oh, Sienna was so. three and a half when we left. Yeah. She's turning seven uh, in next May month. next month. She's, you know, it's been great. That was another thing, and I did slightly mention it that, you know, I didn't see Sienna, and yeah. we are such a family unit. You know, we have her until she's, you know, maybe 18 and goes off to school or goes off to live her life. And I can't tell you how happy I am. You know, I, I, I we gave up lots and lots of money. <laughs> we gave up the potential to be, you know, set for the rest of our well, lives. Yeah. But the value we've gotten, not having money, necessarily that kind of money, but to have our family together. Priceless. It is priceless. Yeah. And again, when I'm 80, I'll look back and know, I know now, I made the best yeah, possible decision. No regrets. No, not at all. Get out boating. Yeah, get, get out boating. Get out boating. If you haven't, if you haven't yet um, been sailing, go for a sailing trip, book yeah, a sailing. Go on a dinghy. Yeah. Go get, on dinghies on the lake. Yeah, there's Do tons something. of little yacht clubs you can go on. Um, take, Find a friend. Who's got a yeah, that's a really good idea, and um, you could go on a flotilla where you go out on a boat and people help you, and there's other people sailing yeah. in their boats. Then there's you know you can ch you can crew for a boat yeah. to just gain some experience. We're we're always looking for crew yes, we, we are do. always looking for crew. So if you want to come on board Britikin, give yeah. us a shout. Um, yeah. Get out, try this out, and if you enjoy, it, you just keep taking one step forward. Exactly. Yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs> Subscribe now if you want to make sure to watch our next question answered video.